Another common question we get is, uh, you know, what, how exactly do you fill my propane tank? Uh, many times people are taking them to exchanges and they never really know what the process is of actually filling a propane tank. So today we're going to walk you through an actual fill up of a 20 pound propane tank cylinder. We're going to bring the propane tank into the uh, enclosure and then we're going to weigh it and we're showing you the empty weight and you'll notice that the, the TW means tear weight and that's the empty weight of the propane cylinder. So we're going to measure that and verify that the tank is, is empty and ready to be filled and um, then we're going to hook up the filling hose to the propane tank and uh, we're going to weigh it again and add the uh, weight of the propane hose onto the tank. And now we're going to adjust it 20 pounds because we showed that the tank was empty and verified it with a scale. When we're filling the propane tank, we actually fill it to 80%. And the 80% of a propane tank allows 20% for expansion. So that way if your tank is full at 80% at say 60 degrees, you take it home and now it's 90 degrees, it's sitting in the sun, uh, it's not going to cause any issues because you have 20% room for expansion in that propane tank. Once we connect the hose, we're going to have the uh, electric turned on so that we can start pumping the propane. You know, when you're filling a propane tank, we always wear rubber gloves as a safety measure just to make sure that if any propane would get on our skin, there's, there's no issues with that and it's just a safety measure. Then we're going to open the, uh, it's called a bleeder screw and basically that's a liquid level gauge that lets us know when the tank is full and uh, then we also have the weight on the tank to verify it and then all of the propane cylinders uh, in a 20 pound size are equipped with what's called an overfill protection device commonly referred to as an OPD so we're actually triple checking to verify that we're very safe when we're filling the tank and then we're going to continue on until the proper weight is, of propane is inside the propane cylinder and once that happens we're going to turn the valves off shut the electric off uh, tighten the uh, bleeder screw back up to make sure that uh, you know everything is secure and then disconnect the propane hose we'll handle the tank and put it out to your car for you so you know you're ready to go and then you can start barbecuing